Congratulations on purchasing one of the most useful tools for making your home look as if it were finished by a professional. The skills needed to create a beautiful texture ceiling are not hard to master, and this instructional video will show you simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. Step 1. Preparing to Texture To do the job right, you'll need the following tools. A bucket with clean water, a bucket with drywall mud, a ladder, a mixing tool, a hawk tool, a flat hand trowel or an 8 to 12 inch knife, a cleaning sponge or rag, and of course, a magic mudder. Step 2. Drywall mud consistency. Generally, you'll find that the mud you purchase will need to be thinned. Start by mixing a small amount of water into the top inch or two and try a sample texturing before thinning the whole bucket. It's all personal preference. The thinner the mud, the thinner the texture will appear on the surface you're working on. Thick mud makes for a thicker texture. Step 3. Using the Magic Mudder Position the mud in the tool so they'll be handy to use during the texturing process. Put some mud on your hawk and hold it in one hand. Take the Magic Mudder in your other hand and lightly tap it up and down on the mud so the mud begins sticking to the padded surface of the Magic Mudder. Step 4. Texturing the Ceiling now tap the magic mudder up against the ceiling, moving it to a different spot with each tap. Overlapping the previous tap is desirable. It makes the pattern of the texture more even. As the mud is depleted, gather more mud from the bucket and put it onto the hock and continue texturing as previously explained. Step 5. Knocking the texture down. After a short period of time has passed, the sheetrock will absorb some of the moisture from the mud. The base texture should be starting to dry, but not the points. Start by knocking down the texture where you first applied the mud. To knock the texture down, use a flat trowel or an 8 to 12 inch wide broad knife. Hold the trowel or knife on an angle, about 15 degrees, and with light pressure, wipe across the texture. You'll be able to tell if you've let it set long enough with your first wipe. Step 6. Excess Mud after each wipe across the texture, wipe the excess mud off from your trowel onto your hawk. Continue this process of wiping down the texture until you've knocked the entire texture area down. Step 7. Repeat the process. To begin texturing a new area, repeat the process as explained starting with Step 3. When large areas are to be textured, the process can be accomplished exceptionally well with two people. One person can put the texture on with the magic mudder, and the other person can knock the texture down with a trowel when it's ready to be wiped. Step 8. Cleaning the Magic Mudder Cleaning the tools is easy. Use a wet sponge to wipe or wash off excess mud from the magic mudder and other tools. By doing this, you'll extend the life and quality of use of your magic mudder. Keep in mind not to set your magic mudder out in the hot sun or next to a heat source because it can cause it to warp. Step 9. Sanding the texture. After the texture is dried for about 20 to 24 hours, you can use a pole sander or hand sander with 100 grit sandpaper to lightly sand the entire surface of the ceiling. Congratulations! You've just successfully textured your ceiling and now it's ready for primer and paint. We hope you found this instructional video helpful and easy to follow. Thank you again for buying the Magic Mudder. We feel confident that you'll agree that it was worth every penny.